In the bustling city of New York, Peter Parker led a life like friendships and the added burden of a secret identity as Spider-Man. Recently, the city had been calm for a change, giving Peter a chance to catch up with his studies and maybe even score a date with Mary Jane Watson, his longtime crush. However, things took an unexpected turn when a new villain, Dr. Clone, emerged from the shadows. Unlike others, Dr. Clone possessed the unmitigated power to replicate himself without limits, each clone as menacing and powerful as the original. This posed a unique challenge for Spider-Man who had always depended on his agility and intelligence to outweigh foes. The city was in chaos as clones multiplied across the boroughs, each set on causing destruction. Spider-Man found himself spread thin, darting from one emergency to another, but even he knew he was only one man against an army. Amidst the chaos, Spider-Man had an epiphany. Utilizing his scientific background, Peter quickly whipped up a device that emitted a specific frequency. He theorized that this might disrupt the biosignature of the clones, anchoring them back to their origin. Confrontation with Dr. Clone unfolded on the Williamsburg Bridge, the iconic landmark serving as a battleground. Spider-Man, at his wit's end, strategically planted the device while battling a swarm of clones. His plan seemed near impossible, but Spider-Man had always thrived in the face of adversity. With mere seconds to spare, Spider-Man activated the frequency device. A brilliant pulse emanated, and the clones began to flicker and fade, much like a fading transmission. As the last clone disappeared, Dr. Clone, the original, was left vulnerable. A swift web shot, and he was incapacitated, awaiting the arrival of the authorities.